So welcome back to the channel. So last night, um, my daughter came home and she, um, she said, Papa, I need to charge my battery. I said, <laughs> I said, why? Because uh, you know, the, <laughs> the battery indicator is, op is on. Well, I, I don't know where she got that, but that's not how it's supposed to be. Well, um, so anyways, um, I removed it last night and now it's on the operating table. So we are um, not working on the truck today. We are going to get this fixed and I've got Josh to help me out. Hopefully he will learn something today. So let's get it on. Take this off. Smack this with a hammer first. It will loosen. Mm. Then, what your goal is to remove the front and let the rear stay. So you can just hammer it. So, and there you go, it's off. And the carbon is this one. So now we will remove. Ah, so the carbon appears good, a little bit short, but I don't think that's a problem. So let's remove this same procedure uh, hit it with the hammer first and then take it off because mm. mm. so your goal is to to jerk it to press it a little bit so there will be no tension and then take it off Now the side I need to lift this up and then slightly move it to the side. So the other one will be there. So that's why you need to lift it up and turn it a little bit. Okay. By the way, so we already took this off. So don't forget to take that off. And then this will slide out. So oh, let's test this first. Uh, continuity. So this has a wire that is connected to this that goes around and then goes back to the other side. So there should be continuity. So, I think we found the problem. There is. There is. Yeah. 
Ergo, so this is our problem. So unfortunately, uh, I was I was hoping it it was going to be the brush, but it's not. And uh, well, this is unfortunate. Uh, we're in a country where we cannot get this separately, so we need to buy a whole alternator. And unfortunately, we cannot also show you how to assemble this because it's garbage. <laughs> I don't want to be wasting my time. Uh, but anyways, um, before you actually remove this, um, we tested a lot of things. Um, we tested uh, fuses. Uh, there's uh, one, two, three fuses that we need to check. Oh, no, two, two fuses. And then we checked continuity from the positive of the battery to the one that connects to this. So it was good. Um, battery light was on, so um, exciter cable is okay, exciter wire is okay. And that's another thing. If you turn on your key and um, the battery indicator is not turning on, then you might have two problems. Um, it uh, it's either the exciter cable is broken, uh, three problems, or the bulb of that um, battery indicator is broken, or the regulator. Now, if it if it's like what happened to my daughter last night, so she turned the key, the battery indi indicator was there, she turned on the car, and the battery indicator is still on then either you've got problems with your um, charging cable which is from again from this one to the battery or your alternator is just definitely not working so possible problem would be carbon which is not on this case or diode well most most of the time if it's diode it will be overcharging i think um, and that's it um, so off to musafa unfortunately i will be spending money again <laughs> maybe i'll sell josh anybody interested mm -hmm. i don't know Lahat. Um, sa Philippines kasi, pag nasa Philippines ka, lahat mabibili mo. Ito separate. Ito separate. Ito yung regulator. Or tinatawag na lang IC. Ah, hindi. Sorry. Ito yung regulator. Ito yung IC. Itong carbon, binibiling separate. Um, itong diode. This is, this is the diode um, heat sink. This one. So we, we discussed before, sa bahay, di ba, meron three na wires. So it's the same here. But we place diode, so it will be one direction. Mm -hmm. So you can buy separate in the Philippines bearings. You can buy this separate. You can have someone fix this. You can buy the separate. You can buy even this separately. But we don't, we don't have it here. So you have to buy this as a whole. So if you, fortunately, we can replace the brushes, which I'll show you how to remove it. And, uh, but in this case, it's not a problem. So we need to buy it. I mean, we need to buy an alternator. Okay. Yung buong to na naka-assemble ay yung buong alternator. Mm -mm. Pero ito, ito lang yung, ito lang yung, uh, ang tamang kanina? Diode. Hindi, yung isa pa, yung dito. Correct, ito. Um, diode, yeah. This is the diode. And this is the heat sink of the diode. Because the diode uh, turns hot. 
because it tries tries to move energy on one direction so it cannot go back so that's why it's making it a little bit hotter so that's why it has heat sink so that's it so how does this work um, you put power in this and then this becomes magnetic and when you sp spin magnet it will transfer energy to this and then this produces electricity AC alternating current so it's it doesn't have a positive and a negative and then this goes to here and then that's when the magic happens where AC turns to DC so it will be now, it will have direction, it will have flow on one direction. So it flows on one direction, and then positive goes here, and then the, neg the negative will go to the body. The whole body will be the negative, and then body of the negative go to the body of the engine, and then goes to the battery. Okay? Let's see if it's available. If not, then scrapyard. So we are here now at Musafa. Unfortunately, shit. edit that. <laughs> um, getting a new one is too expensive. And I'm here at the surplus and they don't have it. So they are, well, I said that if there's a, a part available that is broken on my alternator, and I'm willing just to swap it. So it's gonna cost me about 120 dirhams. And I think it's okay. Instead of me, you know, paying, I found one in Amazon, about 500 dirhams. And, you know, 500 versus 120. I think this is a wise decision. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it.